Dexter and Tika are waiting by the door. This is what happens when I get home every day. What? Tika, what? 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 I don't know what that means. Does that mean you want to go inside? Want to go inside? Who wants to go inside? Oh, quiet. Hey, get back up there. Get back up there. Get back up. Tika, back up. Up. Tika. Get, get back up. All right. One more bark. Okay. Let's go inside. All right. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Wait. I go in first. I go in first. I go in first. Step aside. Move. Tika, move. Move. Okay, I go in. Wait. Wait. Okay, come in. You too, Dexter. Right to the bowl. Well, this will be my third attempt. Third attempt to get to uh, Castle Gar Meadows. So, uh, going a little bit later in the season. It's uh, June 30th, July long weekend, uh, Happy Canada Day. And uh, again, uh, Parks Canada screwed up because when I was trying to book this place yesterday online, it showed that everything was booked. That uh, doesn't make sense because there's no cars in this parking lot unless people are coming in from the Athabasca side, but I highly doubt it. Follow this river until it joins with Alexandra. So the pack is heavy, I won't lie. Um, I got, I don't have an exact itinerary. What I, I haven't been to Castle Gar Meadows ever. I've tried a few times and uh, there's always been too much snow or I've lost a trail. So this time I have, uh, well I'm going later in the season and I have a GPS that I, uh, put down some waypoints and I brought a map so um, but I'm carrying about five days worth of food just in case because my plan is actually to go to Castle Gar Meadows via the Alexandra Trail and then go over the Athabasca Glacier and come back to a different trailhead and then hitchhike back to my car so that could take four or five days depending on uh, whether the glacier is passable or not so I got a lot of food and uh, I got fuel this time because there's there's fires but I also allowed but I also had fuel and just because I'm traveling on a glacier I have an ice axe in case I ever fall and start slipping uh, I can stop myself so uh, we'll see how this goes well, I mean the trail hasn't changed it's an old fire access road but you know in northern climates like ours you know, a tree like that is 10 years old. That one there is probably 15 years old. So, it's not a well-used trail. Some people say that, you know, I've, I've had people comment say these trails look like they're well-used, that they virtually look like highways, but a trail that's extremely well-used is just destroyed, pounded out. This is not used, and the reason I it still looks like a trail because it takes forever for trees to grow back in Canada here. So when you got a trail that's overgrown, you know it's been abandoned for 30 years. So this trail has been abandoned for about 15 years. Well, the last uh, two hours and a bit have been pretty tedious because it's an old fire access, but now I finally get to the river. So, whoops. And I haven't videotaped much because I have two previous videos that show this section quite clearly. The video I did with Nick uh, two years ago and the video I did alone with uh, Tika about uh, 
four years ago I'll put a link to those but uh, my plan is not to tape the the next 20 kilometers but more what happens past that cabin up there in Castle Guard Meadows and the glacier is what I'm really intending to you know consider this a part two kind of Let's video that I gotta find my way across these little marshes and then the, the trail is somewhere over there this is where I'll cross but it's raining so I'm not gonna do it twice I've been here before so it's not so bad I know that the trail is over there and the camp is right over there so I was gonna go farther tonight but it's pouring rain or raining good and so I'm just gonna make a short day and have well if it stops raining I'll hike again tonight the creek is a little bit higher Terrace Creek is a little high today Christ, that's cold. Cold, cold, cold. <sighs> mm, that doesn't look too bad, but it is. I know it's fast. Look. All right. That's cold. Holy shit, that's colder than uh, last week when we went to, uh, oh, what was that called? Uh, oh, colder than Carnivan. Oh, 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 way colder. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, I'm gonna walk to the campground, it's just around the corner. Uh. Oh well, at least it's not raining. pants because they got wet crossing even though I rolled them up I got good weather so I'm gonna push actually I'm gonna give myself a treat I'm gonna go about 20k today but I know that up the valley there's an old warden's cabin I can't get in the warden's cabin but it's comforting and it's spot it's on a nice spot so I'm gonna hike there and then I'm just gonna camp there at the warden's cabin and then I'll have a nice seat and a nice view and it'll be so relaxing and, and beautiful so it's it's that's what I'm gonna do today right now I'm just drawing stuff on the road again I think that bell is going to be annoying, especially when I'm videotaping. So I think I'll probably stick that somewhere where the sun don't shine. I'm just leaving the river flat. Now the trail goes up through here. But it'll rejoin the flat later. I don't feel like taking my boots off and it's raining
one. I got to where I wanted to be, 20 kilometers, 20.3. So I'm at the uh, Castle Gar uh, cabin. Boy, you know, if I was a warden here 20 years ago when the fire access road was still good, God, I'd have grabbed a pickup truck and driven all the way down because the road ends, you know, 300 yards away from here. And I'd have come here every night and grab a case of beer and come just relax. That's looking ugly. I'm gonna fix that. And there's a ton of wood around here. So let's okay, fix that. I would that say part. set up the tent first. You can't, I don't know how well you can tell, but. That's like rain and snow over there compared to say, So what else have I got for today? For supper number nine, one. So I got an eat more chocolate bar left. Ooh, check this out. Well, actually the obvious goodies. So I got a coffee and a hot chocolate before going to bed and I can drink a coffee. I'll save the soup, I guess. Or maybe I, I, I got water boiling so I might eat the soup later, but check this out. Ooh, a little cheese. An eat em cheese. Get my calcium. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That's good. That water will boil pretty soon. Actually, I'm jet right now. Boiling.
This is my water source, source on night one. Oh, that's good. I had three, I brought three Smokies and I'm eating all three tonight because I'm kind of forcing myself because I don't feel like carrying the weight. It wasn't that tough of a day, but um, I'm tired and I, I can feel the weight. You know, I'm carrying four days of food, so that's eight, nine pounds kind of thing. So. And then that axe, so I'm carrying a good 11 pounds that I, on top of my pack weight, so I'm pushing 40 pounds today. So I had a big dinner because I'm eating my first night's meal, you know, those two pounds, I don't want to carry them. And, and just, you know, for information, I've already drank uh, two liters of water and this will be my third and I'm sure I'm going to pound it back because... It's it's not that hot, like it's probably 15 degrees or even 12, but it's uh, you still sweat when you're walking and you lose a lot of weight and uh, and you get dehydrated. And you know one way to do it is, or one way to test is when you go pee. You know, I'm sorry to be crude, but when you go pee, you got to look at the color of your pee, and if it starts to get dark, that's a pretty good indication that you need to take some water. They're small. Strawberries everywhere. things where I can find them quickly. Flashlight on the corner. And then... My pants. And then I use the bag from the sleeping bag as a pillow. I'm sure I'm gonna use this bag as a pillow. It was a bit wet. There we go. That's be my, my pillow. Perfect. Sleeping bag. Uh, I use my clothes bag as a pillow. The backpack's underneath there. Flashlight, bear spray, camera. And there you go. Well, day one is in the bag. It's 9:30. Sunset is 10:15, uh, so there'll be a little bit of light till about 11:15, but. Um, and sunrise it f is five, so I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I can tell right away. And I'll get up early, and I have a relatively short hike tomorrow. If I only go to Castle Guard, I might go and then, you know, and explore. Because I was here last time, and I want to go back to where I was last time and see where I went wrong, and just GPS the area. All right, folks. Good night. It's. 20 in the morning. Just woke up, but people wondering. I wake up about every couple of hours and roll on my side or whatever. But you can hear the rain outside. I just woke up.
It's raining outside. It's 1.30 in the morning, so I I often wake up. Like, I wake up and I roll, but I'd say it's generally pretty comfortable tonight. 6.30 or 6.23, July 1st. My happy Canada Day fire. Where I'm heading, the sky is not completely blue that way. 841. There's that, there's that paw. That's a big bear. I think this used to be the campground around here. I have to video this because the trail is not obvious. In some sections like this, suddenly it becomes quite visible, but in other sections, it's just gone. I look for blazes to make sure and there's deadfall everywhere. Now, you get to something like this, and the question is, does the trail go up that way, or does it cross? It's right there. So how do you cross? Right Check there. that out, eh? They're just, the trail's right there. This just a nice little lookout. Well, I'm about halfway of where I want to go today, so uh, so this is actually the Castlegar River, and uh, it dumps into Alexandra, and then the next one past those flats over there there's something called Watchman Creek and then there's a lake up there somewhere and I might go check out that lake depending on uh, my strengths but uh, I'm curious because last time I came here I crossed somewhere over there but I, I didn't get to Castlegar Meadows but I think the meadows are literally straight up ahead so I, I, I crossed where I shouldn't have so but this time I have the map and I actually have a, a better scale map, a more detailed map at home, and I used it to enter waypoints of where Castlegar Meadow is. And I also uh, have topographic, detailed topographic software at home, and I zoomed in on a corner or a section, and I loaded that section in here. So the GPS comes loaded with topographic data, but you can get very detailed data, but it takes a lot of space. So I only load the topographic data that I need for the area that I'm interested in to save a bit of memory. That's Castlegar River. I won't be able to cross it. There's no way I could go to Watchman Lake. I'm not sure what this creek is here but I'm following it and I'm going to cross it 
and then I'm going to go in between these two. Castlegar eventually turns up and will start to dwindle to nothing and then there's these amazing waterfalls apparently called Utrum's Outlet. <coughs> but I'm not crossing Castlegar today. Time for a break here, I think. I see something incredible? I see little chicks flying off, and then here's Mama, and she attacked me. I mean, she has nothing to defend herself with. Where's her chicks? I don't want to scare her chicks, but... So that's a... Uh... That's a rough hen. That's a rough grouse. All right, I'll leave you alone, Mama. Where's your chicks, Mom? This is the exact same spot I got to three, four years ago or whatever it was. I was hoping I wouldn't have to cross, but I got no choice. This is my camp from a couple of years ago. I suppose I could cross there, but that's silly. I can't avoid this one, so I'm gonna cross first, and then once I'm on the other side, I'll stop and I'll have lunch. I could have lunch on this side, but Best to do the disagreeable stuff first and then reward yourself with a lunch on the other side. I don't look forward to this one. Yeehaw, look at how deep that is. Cold too, I bet. Holy shit. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Holy shit, that's cold. <sighs> long enough in the water. <laughs> Woo! Hey! Oh, that hurts. Oh, and it's raining now. Great. Sorry folks, but I'm not doing it a second time. Sometimes I put the camera on a tripod and I go across so you can see what it looks like, but uh, once is enough. That river is cold. Well, there's a fire ring here. And uh, the Jeep, uh, this is the same place I was last time when I came here three years ago. And then further up, I kept losing the trail because there was too much snow actually from the crossing where I just forded to here only took about 30 minutes. Last time it took me, you know, three hours, four hours. So I went from camping over there to here, like less than a kilometer away. 
and I spent the day looking to get above, and I gave up and I went home. So now, there's no snow. Thompson Lake, or, uh, yeah, the lake is that way. I'm gonna go this way. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a ride. Right. I was actually on the right track last time because I remember coming through here and this was frozen. There was nothing flowing out of here, but check this out. The meadows are up there and there's a river underground here and look at it where it comes out. That massive river turns into that. How awesome is that? same outcome as last time I came here. I can't find a way up to uh, Castle Gar Meadow. I just, I just don't know why. It's, it's, I, I find evidence of a trail and then I get past what other people have described in the past in hiking books, but I just, the, the trail has been just so demolished and it's so overgrown up there. There's just little crap everywhere. And I, even with GPS coordinates, I, I'll post these GPS coordinates and it was like, I went round and round and round for hours in some deep, thick bush and I was breaking my own rule. I mean, I was literally getting lost at some point, you know, luckily I could still hear the, the river in the background and I could always line up back towards the river. I did the same circle twice and somebody at some point left some old flag hanging up there, some ribbon, but I don't know what that means. I mean, I saw it and I walked past it blazes have been overgrown so it's just miserable which means that tomorrow I have a 29 kilometer walk out of here instead of uh, you know 10 kilometers over the glacier um, and then listen outside right now it's pouring rain I was soaking wet um, I'm, I'm in my tent, I, I, it's 7 o'clock, I got some dry clothes but I got a chill in my body and I can't make a fire outside, so it's not very comfortable right now, I'm not happy, I'm actually quite pissed off but that's okay, um, and I'm going to do something I don't do very often, I'm going to, I don't have a choice today folks, you criticize me all you want but I'm going to start my little stove underneath the awning here and boil a pot of water and I brought just for this kind of occasion I have a bag of uh, dehydrated food and I will just pour water into that bag and eat out of that bag it'll be disgusting but it's it's what I can it is really pouring out there right now look at all the drips coming through the uh, fly of the tent and it's dripping all over my gear I got my dry bag and a jacket over my sleeping bag this North Face tent is a complete and total failure. They usually make good gear, but this is a piece of shit. It's kind of easing up. I got nothing else to do. I'll make a fire later. Like, it's going to stop, and I'm going to have to hang the sleeping bag and dry stuff. I mean, everything's soaking wet right now, but... I uh, grabbed the bear spray and the GPS and I'm going to go for a walk along the river, at least GPS this river because I cross it, but there might be a trail alongside the river here, I don't know, but if I at least GPS it, then I can have an idea of, you know, just one waypoint where you cross is not enough, so I got to do something, I got to find this place, I got two days food, so maybe I'll do it tomorrow.
I'm eating the whole bag. Pineapple orange chicken. Wonder what that'll taste like. Just need to add boiling water. Should be good. It's easier to eat it in a bowl. I can always reheat it on the stove if I want to. Wow, you can taste the pineapple. There's so much heat from the fire that it's drying my pants. I won't be able to finish this. Some of my friends think that I don't have fun unless I'm a little bit miserable. I think they're probably right. I mean, you know, I'd rather be out here than at home. Of course, I wish I had a successful expedition, but you know what, I still got out. And I'm at the point where I can't go places that I haven't been. It's becoming increasingly hard. Well, day two, I don't know what to say. I'm not happy, but I'm still debating crazy in my head, you know, do I go back and try again? That ribbon that I saw just tells me that somebody went there, but I just can't follow that damn trail. It disappears. Does it go down and follow a creek?